All right, so you draw the top tile off, and I continue the river. And if I claim this green region, a farm, the whole contiguous green region would be mine, which I want to do. Um, so I lay a person down to show that he's a farmer. If you farm, it's laying down rather than standing up. Because it's, it's almost completely permanent. Farms never... It's hard to score farms. Farms only score when you eventually place a barn on four green corners. I'll explain more about that later. And then it would score the farmer in it. But generally it's a tough investment, and so you should expect if you play a farmer, sometimes you just will never get it back out. Is this an expansion build? I was about to say, I don't yeah. remember that game. This is, my fav this, this is my favorite expansion. This is basically the expansion of Second Chances, because it used to be before this expansion, you just never got farmers back, period, ever. So anyway, I'm just going to farm. I was about to say the computer version is the And then you can pick a top tile and go select. <laughs> so what's on there? Oh, okay, so I still own all of that. Okay, you could claim that road. And also the road segments off the farm. So that means these two are independent farms right now. But he can only claim one thing. Right. You can either claim the river or one of those two farm segments. Uh, excuse me. road would be standing up? Yes. Yeah, I meant that's road, not river. That's units, right? That's defensive or...? Is that well, there's no, there's no military aspect to the game. I wouldn't call it defensive, exactly. Okay, so this is Dan's road and my field, but nobody has this city. And nobody has this farm, this farm, or this farm. Whenever you play a tile, you always have to put a meeple on that tile, not any other. And you can pass placing a meeple if you want to. So you could claim the city if you want. Oh, you can claim that city at this yes. point? Yes. Is that just one person? Right, because nobody has this city. Okay. So you just put a guy on it. Can I do this? Uh, the, or is that going you, to mess things up? You know what, I just realized, hey Hannah, uh, that the river always has to continue along as long as the river expansion is going. So really this could be played here, I should have pointed that out. It would have to go there. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so you put it there, and you could claim this farm, this farm, or the city. And I'll, I'll be explaining these other pieces as they become relevant. Oh, and there is also a rule not to have the river loop back on itself or else the future river tiles won't match up. So the, the river can't go back this way once it's already started going that way. I was about to say, there's a city going to be in the way real soon. <laughs> right, right. It would be impossible for any tile to match here. Okay. Um, oh, this okay, this is called a cloister. In the cloister, so I could either claim this road, or this farm, or this farm, or the cloister. The way a cloister completes is that if all these tiles get filled in, I get nine points, and this guy comes back. This is how we keep score. Um, question here. This could potentially get combined into this one over here. Right. Yes. So, can I claim that one? And what would happen if I did? Yes. So, if you have two independent cities and then they bridge together and you tie for how many meeples are in there, you both get full points as if you were alone for that city. If you then make another city over here and then you bridge that one in also, you now outnumber, uh, outnumber her. And she would get nothing, and you would get everything. And that is what the bully is for. The bully counts as two guys. So if she uses her bully right now and bridges in, she wins the city completely. And that, I'm not talking about MC Hammer Mr. Gaucho Pants. I'm talking about the guy who's just scaled up. MC Hammer Mr. Gaucho Pants counts for as many people for outnumbering purposes as there are flags in the city. You'll see these little blue and white flags. 
Um, so who I did. Okay. And I think, well, that is very interesting as being my first game. I'm not going to try and deal with that kind of strategy. Go here. Next time, she will totally rain terror. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one will not be used and goes back in the box. Which means that since can I claim something? <laughs> since you played the lake, the person who played the lake gets to draw the first tile from the lake. Oh, okay. Do I get to place a, a character? Unfortunately, no, because the 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 whole farm is actually claimed by Dan. Yep. Oh, it goes around like this. Well, it's, yep. it's, oh no, it, I thought it was colliding, but it, I just Any saw the road. Contiguous green region is considered one farm. They're split off by roads and cities. Can he go back to another area, or does it have to be centered? You always have to play on the um, the, on the tile. Of the yeah, that you have to fit a road to a road. You can't fit a road to right. a roadless side. You can fit. You you can't fit road to green like that. Right. So you might have to create a new city or add it to this or something. Yeah, you can put it here or here. Right, you can match the road up to a road. Ooh. Alright, so anyone else? He's gonna help with the fire. I see this. No, he's gonna try. He's gonna try to bully it. Okay, so the cloth that you see on there is this. Whoever plays the final tile that causes that city to be complete gets a token of cloth. At the end, whoever has the most cloth gets 10 points. Whoever has the most barrels of wine gets 10 points. Whoever has the most wheat gets 10 points. But that's so you can close off somebody else's city and get the merchandise in it. And we're just continuing it, right? Yep. So can I put this here and play on it? Nope. It's it's uh, unmatched to the grass edge. You can't put it. Um, you can put it there. Yeah. Okay. And can I put another? No. Because once you because you can't play as place into something a, a feature that's already owned even by you. You, if you if you create a different one, you could bridge into your own city. Um, now those two pennants there that you see are both bonus points. So this acts as if it's three tiles for scoring purposes. Cities score for two points per tile or pennant. Oh, oh no, there's no road there. I thought he was gonna really. I thought he was gonna really hose that entire city. There's no road there. No. That, that would work. Oh, it, uh, it's a cloister. Yeah. yeah. Very gentlemanly. That tile. Oh, okay. A cathedral makes every tile or pennant in the city worth three instead of two. However, you have to finish the city. If at the end of the game, the city with a cathedral in it has not been finished, it will be worth nothing. It is a trip, it is a one and a half or nothing bet. So, where can I legally play this? Okay, I'm kind of limited. I either have to, frankly, I have to attack you guys with this, or attack you with this. Because frankly, at this point, it might even be more of an attack than a benefit. It's early enough in the game, it's probably going to be a benefit. You're probably going to succeed in completing it. So, I'm going to do that. And I can't play on it because you guys own it. I like to make my MC Hammer ride the skateboard. 